Hello, in this presentation I am going to show you how to promote a Windows Server 2008 R2 server to a Windows 2008 R2 server that is also running the Active Directory directory services role. So a couple things you need to do to verify before you get started would be to first of all determine that you are running a static IP address. So I'm going to go to a command line and type in IP config slash all and from here you'll see that the host name is EX01 and DHCP enabled is no and I've got an IP address of 10 10 10 10 which is deliberate. That's what I've set this server for. So I have a static IP address which is good and I am now ready to launch the Active Directory directory services promotion process. In Windows 2008 server you have to do this by launching the server manager and inside of server manager you need to expand roles and you need to add the role ADDS. This does not do the promotion of Active Directory Rather, it adds the binaries so you can then run the promotion process. So I'm going to add the role and click on next and now I want the Active Directory domain services and this requires the .NET framework so I'm going to add the required features. Uh, so I'm going to add the Active Directory domain services, click on next and click on next and there's a summary page and then click on install and this adds the binaries to the operating system and binaries are files that are needed to make the promotion and when this is done I'll then need to run DC promo. So I'm going to fast forward while the computer is working to save a little bit of time. Alright we're done adding the ADDS role so we'll click on close and now we can close Server Manager and start the actual promotion process. So I'll click on Start and from Run I'm going to type in DC Promo. And then we'll hit the Enter key and this begins the promotion process. I'd like to use the Advanced Mode for installation and click on Next. So the first question you need to answer is your deployment configuration. If you already have an Active Directory forest and you're adding to it, you would choose existing forest. I'm creating a new domain in a new forest, so I'm going to choose that option and then click on next. The fully qualified domain name of the forest root domain, FQDN, is a fully qualified domain name. My domain is going to be called bkmail local and then I'll click on next and it's checking to make sure the the forest name I'm proposing is not already in use uh, so this is going to come back clean and then we will click on next it's then giving me a domain NetBIOS name and this is a domain name that is pre Windows 2000 so it's a NetBIOS name and it's just BK mail and I'll click next and then it's asking me for my forest functional level. I don't have any 2003 domain controllers that I need to worry about compatibility with so I'm going to go ahead and put it on the 2008 R2 forest level. If you have all 2008 servers and they're not all R2 servers you may want to have a 2008 forest functional level but I'm going to go ahead and go straight to a 2008 R2 forest functional level and we'll click on next. It's determined that there is no DNS server present so it's going to add that feature for me automatically. This is also going to create the first global catalog server which is an index of your forest. I would like DNS and global catalog so I'll click on next and I'm going to leave my database locations default as well as log files and sysfall and I'll click on next. I need to put in a directory services restore mode password at this point in time which I will type in. It's very important that you record what this password is 
because this is the password you will use if you ever need to restore Active Directory from a complete failure. Because you have no directory services in a disaster, this password is used to authenticate that you actually should have the rights to restore your directory. And then we'll click on Next, and we'll click on Next on the summary page, and the promotion process begins. This is going to take a little time, so while the computer is working and doing the upgrade, I am going to fast forward the video. We'll get right back to you soon. Thanks. The promotion process is finished, so I'm going to go ahead and click on finish and restart my computer. I'm going to fast forward the restart to save a little time. Alright, we've rebooted and now let's press Control alt delete to log on. And now that we're successfully logged on, I'd like to validate that our promotion to Active Directory, Directory Services, was complete. So Server Manager launches automatically and one of the first things we can do is validate that the role is there. So we have Active Directory Domain Services and we have a role status. There are some events, warnings, informational events, etc., and some services that are running, uh, but the Active Directory Domain Controller is installed. I'm going to go ahead and close this and click on the Start button and go to Administrative Tools and launch Active Directory Users and Computers. You'll see that the bkmail.local domain is present as well as the EX01 user is there and the administrator user is there. As a test I can add a user And adding a user validates that Active Directory Users and Computers is there and at least working. I'll close Active Directory Users and Computers and click on Start and go to Administrative Tools. And let's also validate that DNS is present. So I'll expand EX01, which is the name of the computer, the 2008 server, and we've got the bkmail.local DNS forward lookup zone as well. So our installation of Active Directory and DNS was successful. And this concludes my presentation on how to promote a 2008 server to be a Active Directory Directory Services server. This is BrickHouseLabs.com and thanks for watching.